Well, good day, YouTube. Well, actually, it's good night around here, but, um, well, I didn't show you the final version of my ATX Mega board, and I'll do that now. It's here connected to the JTAG ICE, and this is the final populated version of the ATX Mega board I did. Uh, I'll show you this uh, unpopulated version of the board. Right? Stopping agent, and it's gold plated, and, uh, well, there's a population print layer. And uh, as opposed to one of the prototype boards, which are very naked and look like this, so you can compare. It's an older version of the layout, actually, so um, you can compare it here. And also, let's have a little glimpse on what it, what it looked like there uh, in the layout software. This is it. It's a newer version. <laughs> because uh, we fixed a few bugs so it's a new version of this board so this is what it looks in the layout software and uh, this is what it looks like when it's finished so in the meantime I was able to use Linux and AVR Dude to flash the board so the toolchain is finally stable the, the issues I had when I was still working with the prototype uh, were mainly toolchain related and also AVR Studio didn't work correctly so this was all software related I mean the board was fine it's, um, but I was so mad that at the end I threw the prototype away <laughs> uh, one thing to notice you can power the board via USB and drawing 500 milliamps from USB not violating the standard which means that um, we use a transistor and it had a, uh, the board had a little buck here so it needed to, uh, to be patched up so this is all documented, but um, it needs a little patch to work correctly. And now you can draw 500 milliamps from USB. And uh, the funny thing about this is that um, it isn't easy. And there are a lot of uh, commercial products out there who are not standard conform, conform like this. I mean, that's very noticeable. Now, it's running a simple running light demo program, which we will flash again. So it's just for demonstration. And uh, it's a flat cable connected from the port to this to the LED header and uh, now let's flash uh, this is the yeah this is the software this is the program uh, see it looks a little uh, different from what a normal AVR program looks like it says port dot dir and port dot out it's, it's, it's all a little renewed and a little a little bit more structured and everything and uh, it clocks the ATX Mega up to 32 megahertz. Also a little note here from me, you can clock this system up to about 80 megahertz or something that was reported and tested on my board. So it's you can overclock it a bit. And it's something about this is very tricky, so you need inline assembly and everything, but it's all in, in my repository already. So let's program the AVR. I hope we can read this. Yeah, that's it. It's a rather small program and uh, used the JTAG eyes, but that is it, and everything is fine, and it's now flashed again. Well, it's running the same program, so you won't see any uh, a lot of a lot of tricks around here. But um, well, it was flashed again, so you can flash any other program like the STRAM test or whatever, and USB test, which is always already in the repository. And this is what the board looks from backside. Yes. Yeah, that's about it. It's probably the last video I do on this board. Uh, might make some uh, another project or whatever and then you, uh, show it to you again but um, I have a very few boards uh, left of this so the price is right I think I might even sell them or I just keep them for myself uh, let's see that so thanks for watching and uh, have a lot of fun